Hello, and welcome to today's book chat. So, uh, the book I'm going to be talking about today, I actually heard about on um, a writer's podcast, and they were talking about books with romantic storylines. And so I was going into this as a romance because the series that I'm starting to write has a strong romantic storyline running throughout it. And I wanted to get, you know, some experience as I have not read many romances in my past. So, <laughs> this book, I... It was a romance, but certainly not in the way I expected, and I actually really enjoyed that. So it is Anne Tyler's The Accidental Tourist. Oh, the light, the reflection, it's always so bad. Um, and this copy from my library is actually three of her books, but The Accidental Tourist is uh, the one that I read. And so the story starts, it's about a man named Macon Larry, and he and his wife, Sarah, are driving home from a vacation that seems like it really flopped. Um, they were trying to have some normalcy, trying to take some joy in the relationship. And this is about a year after the death, the tragic and senseless death of their young son. And so on this drive, the wife, Sarah, tells Macon that she wants a divorce and she's reading out. Sorry, and she's moving out. So this is literally the first page of the book. Um, and from there, we see Macon try to deal with this. Now, what really drew me into this story were the characters. All of them were memorable. All but Sarah, actually, were quirky in some interesting, very seeable way. And Macon was one of the characters who was most this way. When his wife leaves, he sinks into a self who has always thought there are better ways to do things and starts to reshape his life and his world to adhere to this while all the while realizing there's something quite wrong with the way that he's living. So to tell you a little bit about him, he is a travel writer hence the title The Accidental Tourist, who writes for businessmen who don't like to travel. So basically he goes to different countries and writes on how you can travel these wonderful international countries or with even in your own country without seeing anything by feeling that you're still home, which in my mind is ridiculous because that's the whole point to travel. Anyways, so this is kind of a representation of who he is as a person. He's very withdrawn, he's very enclosed, um, definitely an introvert. And then when he starts having trouble with his dog, Muriel, a dog trainer, walks into his life. And Muriel was another character who really made the book for me. She is demanding and awkward and pushy and somewhat pathetic, but also very lovable in uh, a way that I don't know that I'd necessarily want her in my life, but I certainly enjoyed reading about her. So this book, if you are someone who likes books for their characters and for seeing the different ways in which people act between each other and when behind closed doors, I think you'll really like The Accidental Tourist. I will say that it's somewhat slow. There were times when I was kind of bored and not knowing where things were going, but then something would happen to draw me right back into the story and into the characters. And it was always because of the characters, whether it was a touching moment, whether it was a moment that just showed an aspect of humanity in a way that kind of hits you in the chest. Um, so I'm not gonna say any more about this book actually, but The Accidental Tourist, if you wanna know a little bit more about it, there's gonna be links on my website and you can check it out, read about it. If anything I've said has intrigued you, then I would say, pick it up, give it a try. It's been out for a while, so you're probably gonna find it at your local library as well. And I would love to hear some feedback, what you thought about it. So once more, The Accidental Tourist by Ann Tyler.